Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 2, nutrition facts. We want to implement a program that prompts the user to input a fruit and then output the number of calories in one portion of that fruit. For this one we will use dictionaries to store our data. So I already made a dictionary using the information at the website given in the problem. So I will just paste it here to save our time. Now that our dictionary is ready, let's prompt the user for a fruit. Fruit. And we are going to use the lower method to make our program case insensitive. Then let's make an if statement to check if the fruit that the user inputted is in our dictionary. If fruit in fruits. And if that is the case, let's print the colors. Which is the value of the key fruit. Let's try the examples provided in the problem. So let's run the program. Let's try Apple. This should output 130. Here, Apple 130. Okay, let's try Avocado. And calories equal 50. Yeah, that's right. Let's try sweet. Okay, sorry. Let's try sweet shares. I use the uppercase letters to check if our program is case insensitive. This 100. Okay, sweet cherries, 100, that's right. Okay, let's try our last example, which is tomato. Tomato is not in our dictionary, so the program should do nothing and exit. Okay, great, that's also working. So, let me show you what will happen if we don't use that if statement. So let's remove it and draw again. Let's uh, type tomato. Yeah, so when we try to put a uh, fruit that's not in our dictionary, we will have an error message here. So we don't want to show this to the user, so that's why we used the if statement. Yeah, and that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.